Hi, I'm back. I'm going to do a quick video on peeling off Plasti-Dip with an enamel coating on it. Um, real quick, first I want to comment on Fonzie's video that he did on this on Plasti-Dip. He did a test where he peeled off Plasti-Dip with an enamel coating off a piece of metal, but he only did two, piece, two, low, two layers of Plasti-Dip on there and then showed that he could barely peel it off. I mean, it came off and it didn't stick, but he had a lot of problems peeling it off. Well, that was a good test to show that even down the two layers could protect the surface that you're that's on from and from to protect it from the plas or sorry, the clear coat bonding to the surface that the plastic dip is on. I thought that was really good to show that, but who is going to just put two coats of plastic dip down? So that I, I wouldn't recommend less than five coats. So I thought that was a very bad test, very misleading at that point. Um, but, so moving on. Um, I do want to say, though, the video, was, the video was very great of his. I'm not trying to put it down at all. I just felt that that part was misleading. But um, my previous video, I did three uh, samples of this, and I used this, the Rust-Oleum Auto Enamel, on those. I don't think I showed the can in that last video. And then for this test, I'm using the Krylon Fusion for Plastics, the clear. Um, it does show as not being glossy on the, on the cap, but if you look at it, it is definitely quite glossy, and it goes on really nice. Um, it does flex just as much. Uh, no problems there. It looked like, I can't tell if I have some, just a little bit of lines in there. You can't really... Uh, kind of see them in there. I don't know if that was from flexing or, or if they were there before. I really didn't pay attention to that. But realistically, the amount that I flexed it, you're not going to flex it that much <laughs> in real life of whatever you're putting it on. I just wanted to show that it does bend with it. And even then, regular auto enamel probably after uh, some time, you know, loses some of that flexibility as well. Um, so what I did with this is I put five good coats of Plasti Dip on and then um, let that cure. I intended only three days, but I got busy and it probably was at least a week that it cured. Then I put the uh, Krylon Fusion on there. I put, and it recommends, it's actually easier to work with than the enamel because the enamel, the auto enamel required like three minutes in between each coat. The Krylon Fusion only requires one minute in between each coat. And it re recommends four to six light coats. I did six coats on this. Came out very nice. Um, and so I was done very fast with this compared to the, I think, three or, um, I can't remember how many coats I had put on with that. I think it was at least three, if not more. Um, but I had six coats on in less time it took three on that. But, uh, just to let you know, the Krylon Fusion does come across as a milky white after you get the coats on. That does clear up after 24 hours, and it does mention that on the instructions. So... Um, what I did this time to even show if I expect this to peel off better than two of the three did on my other test because I did make sure I had good coat of Plasti Dip on this. Um, the other ones you see on the edge with the red color there, I kind of peeled it up a little bit just so it would make it easier to start it, but I didn't do it around the rest of the edges. On the other tests, I did just to make it easier. I actually wanted to make this one a little bit harder just in case to show, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. And I haven't really started that edge yet, so could take a second to just to get it started. There we are. All right. Then, okay. And then what's killing me right now, there we go, is that edge because I didn't. Uh, I didn't peel it away like I did on the others, so it's wanting to fight me a little bit. And actually, surprisingly, this one is having a little bit of problem peeling, but I can easily rub it with my fingers and it comes. So it's just wanting to fight me a little bit on the bond, which means it's bonding really well to this surface. Um, I will probably I have some metal that I'm testing this out with as well to see if it reacts differently with metal and peels differently. But this taste, it is now uh, the last test where I had three different samples. One of the three peeled right off, no problems whatsoever. Um, this one I was ex actually expecting to peel off. 
um, very nicely and it's not but like I said all I have to do is peel it um, instead of peeling it up just roll my fingers down it and it comes right off so hopefully you can see that so it takes a little bit extra work um, with it but I've had I've have have had success in having it come off and I'm wondering if for some reason the material that I have and I didn't expect it to bond to vinyl that well um, but it could be bonding quite well to this I'm not sure but I have let it set for quite a while longer than I had it let, had let it set for the other pieces that I had tested out before so that's that test I'm not going to go ahead and finish that out but it still peels off and if you just rub it back with your fingers it comes right off no problems it's just it's not going to peel up in big chunks so hopefully that helps and my next video will be testing out um, wet sanding which I know a lot of people have been waiting on that's the sample piece that I have right now that is actually uh, I'm going to test out both the Krylon Fusion and the Auto Enamel. That is actually the Krylon Fusion that's on there right now. So that's four coats of it. I'm going to wet sand it with 600 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to put two, maybe three coats on it and then show you, and show you the finished product with that. So and that's the, that'll be coming up next.